lot of people um say like i'm gonna start a youtube channel because i'm uh starting a family well you know that's why i'm starting mine except for i'm not pregnant i'm getting a puppy a little well i don't know how little she'll be it's a standard golden doodle she's a female i don't have her yet i'll pick her up in like two weeks two and a half weeks i'm very excited um i already have her um crate set up and i have a bed in there which i'll show you later at the end but i just wanted to show you a few things that i got for her and i'll also show you um what i got in her bark box which i was gonna wait until she got here but um you know i just can't wait and i want to show you so i guess i'll start with the stuff i got today this is a slicker brush and it's for medium to long coats to brush and demat because her hair is obviously going to be curly so this is what that is for to brush her and i'm hoping to get her introduced to it very early on so she um won't mind me brushing her so that i can keep her nice and brushed so i don't have to you know, groom her as often and she'll look nice and maintained. <clears throat> the second thing I got was a comb. It's a, oh my gosh, it unfell out the package. That's crazy. It's supposed to be brand new and this thing was broken, so that's cool. Anyways, it's a metal comb to brush her, you know, with, again, it's to detangle. I got this just as, as like another alternative to, to brushing besides just that one um, slicker brush. The next thing is nail clippers. I, w I debated on getting um, these kind of nail clippers or the electric one, but I opted for this one because it was a cheap alternative in Walmart. I'll tell you the prices too, because I still have the receipt for this. Uh, the clippers were five sixty-seven, so six dollars. The slicker brush was five dollars, and the comb was also five dollars. These things I got at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. Marshalls, I got these at Marshalls. So the first thing I got, I'm gonna show you are these treats. And I have done my research, and I think I'm going to feed her um, a raw food diet. So essentially, I have picked uh, what I, in my opinion, is the best brand of raw food that I can get in the nearest store instead of ordering online. And I, that's the one I'm going to feed her. And I also have seen on the internet on youtube and reading stuff just about dogs in general that they don't need a lot of carbohydrates so that's what i you know don't go for but I, I found these before i found that out about how to find that out and i was just looking for something with um minimal ingredients this has quite a bit of ingredients but less than the other ones that i was looking at at the store this is fruitables brand it's skinny minis deliciously healthy dog treats <laughs> i know they're deliciously healthy because i try them i'm just kidding okay. this is the grilled bison flavor and they feel pretty soft i think this is three calories per treat grain free they're soft and i got another <laughs> ow i got another package but these are pumpkin and mango I got, obviously, a meat flavor and something that isn't meat, something that's else, you know. Anyways, <clears throat> this is pumpkin and mango flavor, and the packaging is cute, you know. The next thing, um, I, this is the first toy I bought her, and I literally bought this, um, a couple days after I, I watched this video, I think it was a video where I got this information from, I'm not 100% sure, but... I saw somewhere, heard somewhere, or saw somewhere that puppies can see, or dogs can see blue and yellow the best, or like, whatever. This was $3. 
on clearance at Marshall's. I don't know how much. Oh, the treats were $3.99 each. Yeah, so anyways, I got this cute little toy. I think it's cute because it reminds me of like a baby toy that like a teething toy you would give a baby. So I think that's pretty cute. It has um, an elephant on it because she's going to be a puppy. So I thought like a little cute little newborn toy. And I got it so um, she can chew on this part if she wants that like it's not really flexible soft it's soft but hard you know that kind of material and then it also has that rope so that i can maybe play with her and interact with her a little bit with this toy and then um the last thing i got at marshall's was this um collar and lead set it's in medium so i probably will have to get a different one when i first get her i think she'll probably fit into a small I don't think she'll fit into the medium maybe i don't know she i got one of the bigger ones from the litter and she's gonna be a standard so and she'll be probably eight or nine weeks when i pick her up this was only five dollars so that's why i got it because i kept looking and i kept looking and i wanted yellow so bad my favorite color is yellow and i wanted to get her a yellow collar a yellow leash and a yellow harness but it's so hard to find a yellow harness Anyway, so I got this purple one because I thought it was cute. Purple was my second choice after yellow. And it's just a medium collar. It, the brand is Halo. The leash is five feet long. So maybe I might be using the leash and I might find just another collar and, and harness to match this. I still need to get a harness that will match this. And now the most exciting part. I'm going to open her bar bark box. what it looks like it's spa day themed i got to pick from this one or the um i think it was the charlie brown peanut theme or whatever but i didn't get that because i thought this one was cuter there's like a weird residue on the outside of the box it feels weird but it looks like i got well she got um, two toys this is just this is like what is this I did get a I when I signed up I signed up <clears throat> signed up for the the small dog <laughs> I signed up for the small size dog just because she's a puppy right now and then I will change it when she gets older. I think there's a pup box. I'm not completely sure, but you know, I figured that out too late. Okay, I'm getting too excited. So this is a toy and it says the wet dog mud mask and it pops up like this and it has a little face if you can see it it's so cute um and it has that little that crunchy sound oh it does have a squeaker i was gonna say it doesn't have a squeaker it's kind of hard to get to oh it says embrace the replenishing powers of your dog's old favorite mud hide a treat in the cup to watch your dog gently therapeutically mash their face into the squeaky delight so okay it has a squeaker and the crinkle and then you can put treats inside of here oh yeah i can feel inside of there now you can put treats inside of there and then this lid they'll stick their nose in there and then um get treats from it that is so cute actually i love that <clears throat> so the next thing is this toy and it's a what is this a cow yeah it's a cow it's purple and it has that crinkly sound no squeaker this one says, oh, it says less fluff, a squeaker, crazy crinkle. Where's the squeaker? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, dogs can freaking squeak that. I can't even squeak that. Okay, anyways, this one's kind of hard, but I like that, that it doesn't have any fluff. So if she tears into it, then it won't make a huge mess. And I like that little crinkle sound. This is very cute. It's pink, I mean purple and blue and pink a little bit on the nose, but <laughs> this is cute. Oh, this one says, this crinkly cow needs a moo seuss. Your dog can thrash, chomp, and squeak this toy till the cow comes home. Tuck a tree under the towel for a mid-massage snack, no peeking. So, okay, yeah, you can stick um, toys underneath the towel, that, or not toys, treats under the towel to get them to try that. That is so cute. Oh my gosh. This was a good investment. I paid 
I think $26 or something for the first box. And I, I got three toys, a chew, and two bags of treats. This is the third toy I got. It's, it says Doggy Detox. This is cute because I, I almost got a um, toy that was similar to this, but it was like a champagne bottle and it was at TJ Maxx or Marshall's, one of the two. And I was going to get it for her, but I didn't, and I didn't know why, but this is the reason why, obviously. Um, it has <coughs> a squeaker and the crinkle. And this one says, Ref refresh your pup's play sesh with an ice squeaker and luxurious crinkle. And unlike all those other fancy schmancy juices, ours is actually sugar-free. So, I don't know what that means. But, anyways, that's another thing for her to chew on. And then the chew that I received. Is there two in here? Um, no. Yeah, there's two in here, but one of them is broken. This is the... Pet Gourmet Chew Stick. It's grain-free pumpkin and honey recipe. It's a small chew. And the ingredients are peas, chickpeas, pumpkin, coconut glister, and potato flour, brewer's yeast, honey, cinnamon, ginger root, and citric acid. A preservative, it says. It says, um, intended for small dogs, 20 pounds or under, feed no more than one chew daily. So there's two chews in here, feed no more than one chew daily. I'm gonna show you the other treats. This is Swimmy Jerky Bites, Salmon Bites. I think the packaging to these are so freaking cute. It says, stuffed with salmon, this meaty treat contains over 60% well-caught American salmon. For real. <laughs> it says, for real. Um, these small bites are perfectly sized for training or spoiling your dog rotten. These are also made in the USA, made and sourced in the land of the red, white, and chew, so... Um, where are the ingredients? Salmon, peas, vegetable glycerin, salt, natural smoke flavor, mixed taco ferals. <laughs> it's a preservative and then rosemary extract. And then these are pork liver crunchies. So these ones are soft and these ones are crunchy. This is 100% pork liver. natural nutrition and natural taste to delight your baby wolf that's what it says that is something funny and then these are made and sourced in canada so this is pretty cute that's everything oh wait no i have to show you the crate i almost forgot about the crate so give me a second okay so i guess i'll talk about the bed first I, I, I. um the bed i just got today at um where did I get it? TJ Maxx. I got it at TJ Maxx. And it was $19.99. Before I forget to say that, I'll say that it was $19.99. And it is a Mac and Molly Deluxe Orthopedic Bed. And Originally, I was going to get... I got... When I ordered a crate, I ordered a large crate because I didn't see the point in investing in a small crate. And then when she outgrows it, finding something to do with it and then investing in a larger crate. So I just took the larger crate and got one with a divider in the middle so that I can separate her space. I originally had the idea to get a big, um, just orthopedic bed mat, kind of, that would sit on the bottom of her kennel when she is a larger dog, and so it'll fill up the whole kennel. And then, uh, when I found out that I was dividing it and I set the crate up, I was like, you know, I'm probably gonna have to get a smaller bed, so maybe I'll just opt for a smaller, cheaper bed, and then I will get one of those orthopedic beds later but anyways i when i saw this mat i decided that um it would fit under the divider so it it fits in the in the kennel completely all the way but you know she doesn't have access to all of it because it's cut off in the middle but anyways this says it helps to relieve joint pressure for maximum support for dogs and cats the premium quality foam brings luxurious comfort and style the com soft and durable plush fabric cover is removable and washable so obviously i got the pink one that's the uh, the bed i got here i'll open this you can see in the mirror i'm sorry this is the um bed that i got it's very soft and it, i got the pink one very squishy i think i still i think i'm gonna get her a small blanket to also put in here i don't think 
this bed is enough, you know. Something to fill this little crack that is in there. But anyways, yeah, I have her, the divider right back there, if you can see it. And then um, her bed right here. I don't have anything else in it yet, but oh, my best friend's on her way. Tomorrow's my birthday, so. Anyways, um, yeah, I'm very excited to get my puppy. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.